Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you just spending a few minutes of your day with me hanging out, watching one of my videos. I love watching YouTube videos when I'm getting ready for the morning, but when do you guys watch them? I either do that or I watch them when I'm folding laundry or doing just kind of like some sort of unpleasant task because I feel like watching YouTube is like hanging out with a friend. So I appreciate you hanging out with me here on my channel. Today I wanted to chat about some new makeup releases. I usually film these videos like every two weeks, but there have been a lot of products recently announced or a lot of products that were launched over the last few days that I am so excited about. I actually already purchased a few of these, so you'll see them on my channel over the next few days, but let's jump into it and start chatting about the products. Okay, let's start with this. There is a new Natasha Denona palette that I already purchased and I'm so excited to get it. It should be here today on the day that I'm filming this. UPS doesn't usually drop off my packages until later, like after dinner time. So I'll film a video over the next day or two using it and then that video should be up on Sunday. I'm also waiting on another new launch we'll talk about in a second. And then I recently purchased a few products from Sephora, so I thought I would test all of them out at the same time and then upload that video in the next few days but this is the mini bronze palette. It's so pretty. If you guys have been around my channel for a little while, you might know the mid-sized Natasha Denona bronze palette is my favorite palette of all time. I love that one so much. I feel like every single time I use it, I love how my makeup turns out. And I'm such a fan of like a warm golden copper eye, kind of like what I have on today. Today I'm wearing the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. I put that in my everyday makeup drawer for summer, along with a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow which I can't remember which one, I'll link it in the description box below. But I love a good warm toned eyeshadow look for summer, but I also love the bronze palette for fall, for the holiday season, I just can't get enough of it. So I was excited when I saw Natasha Denona was releasing a mini version. I don't always jump on the mini Natasha Denona palettes because sometimes if you have the larger version, the mini palette feels a little repetitive, but I feel like in this case, it's a really good extension and it will be a really good companion palette to the mid-size palette, but also just a really good standalone palette too. The larger bronze palette has mostly shimmers in it and a couple of mattes, whereas this mini palette actually comes with four mattes and then one shimmer. Usually I'm all about the shimmers, but because the larger palette has so many gorgeous shimmers, I feel like these matte shadows will be so nice to use alongside of the mid-sized bronze palette, or again, just on its own. So this is available now on Sephora's website for $27, which is where I purchased mine. The price of the mini palettes did go up. They were 25, now they're 27. I still think it's worth the price tag because it takes forever to make a dent in a Natasha Denona shadow. It's not a powdery formula. It's a little bit creamier. It's almost a little bit thicker. So it's not like you're going to go through the shadow really quickly. I've hit pan on just a couple of Natasha Denona shadows, but it always takes me such a long time. So I do think even though it is a little bit of a smaller palette, it's still worth trying if you're curious about her formula because her formula looks so good on the eyes. Oh, one more thing. I read online the only repeat shade in this palette Palette is I think the lightest matte shade which is called fresh and you can find that one in the full-size star palette which I don't have so I don't have any of these shades and I feel like they're just good staple everyday shades and I'm excited to use it another exciting launch that I already purchased is this one from elf again I should be getting this either today or tomorrow this is the halo glow liquid filter it's available now on their website for $14 but I did see that quite a few shades are already sold out but it's coming to Target on August 14th so a lot of people are hoping well, I was going to say a lot of people are hoping this would be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, but I've seen a couple of reviews on YouTube and TikTok and pretty much everyone is saying it looks and feels identical on the skin. So I myself haven't tried it, but I haven't really seen one person say it doesn't feel like an exact dupe. So I'm really excited to try it out for that reason because I've been thinking about purchasing the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I did try it years ago, like probably four or five years ago, and I didn't love it, but honestly, my makeup preferences have changed so much, especially over the past two years. And I do like a good glowy base. I've also seen people use it, you know, to mix in with their foundation as a liquid highlight. So I do think there are a lot of different ways you can use it but I was kind of hesitant to purchase it just because it is so expensive. And honestly, I do feel like Charlotte Tilbury products are a little bit overpriced. In general, don't get mad at me. I know people are big Charlotte Tilbury fans and I think so many of the products are gorgeous, but they can be really expensive. So anyway, I was really excited when I saw Elf release this because even if it wasn't an exact dupe, I just felt like it would be a fun product to try. So I actually picked
picked up two different shades because I figured I could either use it as a primer or a liquid highlighter, but if you guys have the Hollywood Flawless Filter, what's your favorite way to use it? I think typically I see a lot of people use it as a primer, even a standalone product, but I would love to know how you guys like to use that because I know so many people enjoy it. So this is actually described as a skincare makeup hybrid that enhances your skin's natural glow for radiant and effortless luminosity. They say you can use it alone, under or over makeup, mixed in with a foundation, or as a highlighter. So I cannot wait to try it out. I feel like it's going to be such a great option and it's already getting rave reviews. So that is on its way to me. I'll use it in the same video where I test out the Natasha Denona palette. ColourPop just launched the Clay It Cool collection. I'm actually filming this on Wednesday. It's going up on Thursday, so the collection launches on Thursday. I'll link it below if you guys want to check it out. I do have an affiliate code with ColourPop. It's just my name, Andrea, which will get you 10% off when you place an order, and you can use it whenever you place an order. It's not like a one-time use code. So thank you to you if you do decide to use it. I really appreciate it. But I have to say their neutral collections have been pulling me in this summer. I do appreciate that ColourPop's been doing some more colorful collections, and I have been wearing color more on my eyes lately, but there's nothing like a good staple neutral collection. They did that collection with the powder bronzers, the Get and Fresh palette, and then also those neutral lip glosses, and I wear all of those products quite a bit. So I have to say, I'm excited for this collection. I do plan on trying some of the products. This is a terracotta inspired collection. The Clay It Cool eyeshadow palette has different terracotta shades in mattes, metallics, and cream finishes, and it's $16. I read some comments online saying that it looks like a Patrick Ta palette, which I thought was kind of interesting. I haven't tried a ColourPop palette that has the cream shadows in it yet. I know they did two other ones not too long ago, but I think this definitely has a similar layout to the Patrick Ta palettes with the metallics on top, the mattes on the bottom, and then two of those cream shadows. So I'm kind of curious to know if the shades come close, if it could be a dupe or just a really good alternative. So I'll let you guys know because as much as I love the Major Dimension palettes, they are really expensive. I do love them so much. I think the quality is really good. So if these shades match up, I think $16 for you know, something that could create a similar look would be nice to have. They also brought back their Super Shock bronzers, which I am so excited to try these out because when I tried them years ago, I wasn't really into the Super Shock cheek formula, but these days I love my Super Shock blushes so much and it's been such a long time since I've tried their Super Shock bronzers. So I definitely plan on picking at least like one or two of these up. There are six new matte shades and they're $8 each. Then they're also releasing four new blotted lips. So it's supposed to be like a newer version of the formula. It sounds like they improved it a little bit. So they describe it as a creamy formula that gives sheer buildable color with a blurred focus matte finish. They're $8 each or you can buy them as a bundle for $28. When I tried this formula in the past, I wasn't the biggest fan and I felt like they were a little bit dry and I don't know, when it comes to products like that that give like a blotted look, I almost want more color. But again, I feel like my makeup preferences have changed a little bit over the past few years and I don't mind a sheer lip color overall, usually like a glossy sheer lip color, but I definitely want to try them out. So I'm excited about this collection. I think it's fun. It is more of a neutral collection, but I'm definitely curious to see what the Super Shock bronzer formula is going to be like and maybe the blotted lips as well. So if you guys plan on picking it up, you'll have to let me know what you think. I'll link it in the description box below. And then one more thing, there's also a Soul Body Shimmering Body Powder for $14. I was so excited when I saw that Tower 28 was launching a new shade of their lip gloss and a new shade of their blush because I love those products so much. They are definitely two of my favorite products that you can find at Sephora. So the new Shine On Milky Lip Jelly shade is called Sesame, which is a semi-sheer milky pink. It's so gorgeous. It's like a cooler toned, lighter berry. I feel like it's so perfect for fall. This is a shade that I would wear a ton during the fall. And I love their formula so much during the fall and the winter because it is so hydrating. So I definitely plan on trying this one out. It's available now on Sephora's website. And then there's also a new Beach Please Cream Blush in the shade Office Hours. It's kind of similar. So they describe this one as a sun-kissed mauve or mauve. I know mauve is the correct way to pronounce it. I actually did not know that it was pronounced mauve until a few years ago. It was, I said it in a YouTube video. Oh, you know what? It was when ColourPop released that making mauves palette, but I called it the making mauves palette and people were like, that's not how you say it. But for some reason, my brain just can't make that switch. So anyway, that's how they describe it. And it is a gorgeous color, a perfect shade for fall. So beautiful. It would look really nice any time of the year. But for me personally, I would get a lot of use 
out of both of these shades during the fall. These are two of my favorite formulas. I probably will end up grabbing them just because it's hard to resist a good lip product or blush these days, but I love that Tower 28 is a little more affordable compared to other brands at Sephora, and the quality really is so good. If you've watched my videos over the last few months, you might have heard me mention the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Lip Serums over and over. I honestly feel like that is I don't know if it's the best lip product I've ever tried, but it really has been my go-to lip product. It's so comfortable, it looks amazing on the lips, and it's just so nice for everyday wear because it's really glossy, it's super smooth. I actually think it stays in place better than like a regular lipstick or even a lip gloss because it is more of a sheer formula overall. It just wears off in such a natural, pretty way, and it just makes your lips look amazing. So I am so excited to hear that Makeup by Mario is actually going to be launching a new Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum every Monday for the rest of the summer. This week's launch is the shade Pink Glow, which is actually a clear pale pink, and all of the existing shades have shimmer in them, so this one's a little bit different. I know that shimmer isn't for everyone, so I wonder if all of the new launches are going to be shimmer free. I almost feel like they're kind of competing with the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips because the formulas are really, really similar, but I think I like the Makeup by Mario ones just a little bit better. So the swatches of this new shade look so pretty. I was tempted to buy it, but honestly, I think I'm going to wait and see all of the shades they launch before I decide to purchase one, just because if I purchase one and then the next week they launch one that I like better, I'll feel tempted to grab that, and I don't need to buy all of them by any means. I read on Instagram they're aiming for this color to be in Sephora stores by September, so I assume the rest of the shades are coming to Sephora as well. I'm excited about this. This formula really is one of my go-tos, and I just think it's fun. They're kind of doing a new shade every week instead of launching them all at the same time. Ideally, as a consumer, I feel like it would be nice to have them all available at the same time so you could choose which one to try, but I'll just wait and see which ones they end up releasing and then purchase whatever shade I want in September. Ace Beauty released a new palette. This is interesting. It's actually an eyeshadow palette and there are other products as well. There's a video on their website kind of explaining it because I wasn't really sure what it was all about. And basically they created this palette and this game for people who just want to have fun with makeup, which I think is honestly such a good idea. That's why I love makeup. I love sitting down and doing my makeup and just relaxing and trying new things. And basically, if you are a beginner and you don't know where to start, or you're someone who has a hard time mixing colors together, or you just wanna be more creative and you want to step outside your comfort zone, this palette and this game are going to help you do that. So it sounds like the game has cards and you draw cards and then in the end, it helps you put together a complete eyeshadow look. I think the palette is really pretty. I think it's a fun idea. They said you can play by yourself or play with friends. I like that there are different colors in it. They also did brushes, lip products, eyelashes. So it launched earlier this week. It looks like you can get the palette with the game for $49.99, which doesn't seem like a bad price point because I feel like that's kind of on par with other eyeshadow palettes, or you can purchase additional products to go along with this. You can get a set of four lip products for $48.99, a magnetic lash kit for $48.99, and then a set of brushes for $35.99. It doesn't sound like you need the additional products to play the game, but if you do want to you know, enhance the look and add more, they have those options within the game. So I think it's a super cute idea. I don't know how much use I would get out of it practically, to be honest with you guys, because I feel like I love playing around with my eyeshadows and I'll try different color combinations. And honestly, I could probably you know, stand to be pushed out of my comfort zone a little bit, but overall, I do think it is such a fun idea. And, you know, if I was purchasing makeup for like a niece or a friend who just wanted to be more expressive and creative, I think it could be a really fun gift idea. Urban Decay has a new product available at Sephora called the Vice Lip Bond Glossy Liquid Lipstick. It retails for $25. There are 12 shades. Okay, so this sounds kind of interesting. Initially, I thought it was a lip stain, but it's not. It's a long-lasting liquid lipstick that provides instant shine and it has highly pigmented color, but it's supposed to stay in place really well, be smudge-proof, transfer-proof, and they said also resistant as you're eating and drinking. It basically sounds like a shiny liquid lipstick. Like a lot of brands were doing almost like those vinyl lacquered lips a few years ago, but they weren't smudge proof or transfer resistant. They were really glossy and they were kind of messy when you actually wore them. So I feel like a highly pigmented glossy lip isn't something that I've tried before. Most long lasting liquid lipsticks are matte and most highly pigmented glossy lips are not transfer proof at all. So 
Honestly, I'm kind of curious to just to try it because it sounds like an interesting concept. I don't feel like it's something that I would use practically day to day. The more that I'm thinking about this, the more that I'm reminded of this product my mom used to use back in the day. I think it was from CoverGirl, maybe L'Oreal. It was like this dual ended product and one side had a lip color and then she would flip it over and apply this like clear sealing top coat on top and it would lock it into place. And I'm pretty sure it was glossy. I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of curious to try these just because it doesn't sound like anything that I've tried before. And I want to know if they actually work because if I had like a really pigmented glossy red lipstick that stayed in place, I do feel like that could be really fun to wear, especially around the holiday season. So I don't know. I think that's something I might actually just watch reviews on out of curiosity and not necessarily purchase for myself. Mel Cosmetics launched two new cream blush lights in pink tones. It looks like a lot of brands are just kind of extending their shade ranges, which I think is always nice to see. Rather than seeing them like discontinue a product and then re-release something similar a year later, I think it's nice they just add shades. Like they did this, Makeup by Mario just did it with their products, Tower 28. So I'm all for shade extensions. I feel like they're necessary, they're fun. I haven't tried this formula yet. It sounds kind of customizable. They say you can layer them up to intensify them or just use a light layer for a natural hue. I'm on Sephora's website because I wanted to see if they were available there. It doesn't look like they have the new shades, but it does look like this formula comes in a shimmer finish and a natural finish, depending on which shade you try. I think the new ones are the natural finish, so no shimmer, but they look like they give you a really pretty luminous glow. I don't know. I feel like I've purchased a lot of cream blushes over the last few weeks, liquid blushes, so I don't think I'll try them now, but... I might add this formula to my Sephora loves list for the next VIB sale, which won't be for a little while, but I feel like I've already started doing that. Mel Cosmetics doesn't usually pull me in with their eyeshadow palettes these days, but I feel like their regular products are a little more appealing because they tend to get really good reviews and I think they do really nice colors. If you guys have tried this formula, what would you compare it to? Would you say it's somewhat similar to any other like drugstore cream, bl cream blushes you've tried? They sound nice. It might be something I try in the future, but probably not right now. Smashbox also has a new blush. I think I was just saying in a recent video, maybe like a purchase or pass video, or maybe something else that it's been forever since Smashbox has launched anything, but they just launched this product is available now at Sephora. It's the Halo Sheer to Stay Cream Cheek and Lip Tint. It's $28. That feels kind of expensive because it looks like the size of a lip balm, but maybe a little bit goes a long way. It comes in six shades. It is a primer infused cream cheek and lip tint that gives you a flush of blendable, buildable, matte color for a fresh blurred look. To be completely honest with you, these just don't really appeal to me. I feel like they sound nice and maybe if a different brand was launching them, they might jump out at me a little bit more, but I feel like Smashbox as a whole just doesn't, it's not a brand that I'm like wanting to run out and purchase from. Honestly, I just don't really think of the brand these days when I'm thinking about different brands at Sephora. I do love their eyeshadow primer. I've been using that pretty much every single day and I still have a little bit of the Smashbox primer water left that I'll use on occasion, but overall I feel like their new launches well, they haven't really launched a ton of new products, but it's just not a brand that's usually on my radar. So I feel like I'm good when it comes to like cream liquid blushes. I'll skip over this for now, but it will be interesting to see if they end up launching more products in the near future because I feel like it's been a while since I've heard anything about them. Maybe they have been launching products and I've just been missing them. Oh, speaking of Smashbox, I wanted to share this with you guys because I didn't realize this until some of you mentioned it in the comments of one of my recent videos, but apparently Smashbox brought back additional Becca highlighters. So there are now five shades available on Sephora's website and Ulta's website. Before, they just had Champagne Pop, which I love, but there were a lot of of other gorgeous Becca highlighters and after all this time like after all these years that is still my favorite highlighter formula. I'm wearing Champagne Pop today. I just I love it. I feel like Champagne Pop and Opal are my two favorites and honestly they really are my most worn highlighters. I wear them all the time. So now they have Rose Quartz, Chocolate Geode, Moonstone, and Opal 
in addition to champagne pop. So I wanted to share that with you guys in case you didn't know about that either. I had no idea. And then a few of you told me in a recent video, there are still other shades available, which is amazing. So if you've been missing out on them or you've been wanting to try that formula, you can still get it and you can find them on Sephora and Ulta's websites. Artist Couture launched a new face palette. It's the Love Sprung Face Palette Volume 3, and it's available now on their website for $34. I actually thought the previous two blush palettes were so pretty. They were on sale on Sephora's website for a little while, and I was going to purchase one, but then it sold out kind of quickly once they discounted it. So they are still available on the Artist Couture website for $34 each. I really like the colors in Volume 3. You get some warm orangey tones, and then there are two satins and one luminous shade. I'm kind of on a cream blush kick lately, so I don't know that I'll be purchasing any like powder blush palettes for a while, but I do think it looks really nice. And if I was to purchase one, I'd probably go with maybe Volume 1, but I do love the colors in Volume 3. I think it looks really nice. Halsey is launching a new makeup brand exclusively at Walmart called AF94. She does have About Face, which if you guys haven't tried that brand, there are a lot of fun products. I feel like it's a little bit more of a creative brand. They do really bright, colorful things. And then recently, they cut the prices of all of their products. So now, instead of high-end prices, I feel like some of them are more drugstore priced or maybe more mid-range priced, but I love their lip liners. I also really like the highlighting powder. The liquid matte shadows are so pretty. I haven't tried something like that from other brands that I've enjoyed, but they do a good job with those products. Anyway, the new line, AF94, was created to be a self-expressive line that is lower priced with a wide reach, according to Halsey. It was developed for Gen Z consumers and beauty novices alike. So it looks like everything's under $10, with the majority of products under eight. There are eyeshadow crayons, lip crayons, glosses, liquid liner, false lashes, matte lipsticks, cheek and lip tints, and more. And the products are vegan and the line is cruelty free. I love affordable makeup and I'm kind of curious to see how these compare to About Face products. Like I said, About Face cut their prices kind of recently, so it's not like their products are super expensive, but this line still does look quite a bit more affordable. So next time I'm at my local Walmart, I'll definitely see if I can get my hands on some of these. It looks like the release date is July 25th. That's on Monday. I feel like July flew by so quickly. So I'll definitely check it out next time I'm at Walmart because I do think that could be a fun line if you're into colorful makeup, but you don't want to spend a ton of money. There are two new makeup sets I wanted to share with you. I feel like we're going to start seeing holiday sets very, very soon because it's almost August and last year a lot of brands were doing holiday sets during August. These aren't technically branded as holiday sets, but there is a set of three mini best-selling chart mascaras at Ulta for $25. So it comes with light camera lashes, or Lights Camera Lashes Man Eater, which is my favorite from Tarte, and then also Big Ego, which I recently tried. That didn't work for me, but I know a lot of people like it. The wand looks identical to the Too Faced Better Than Sex wand, which is kind of interesting because Too Faced has like two mascaras and Tarte has a ton of different mascaras. So if you like mini mascara sets and you've been wanting to try out some different options from Tarte, this set is $25. So for like the price of one, full-size mascaras, you can get three minis. I'm all about minis. I feel like it's a nice way to try out multiple formulas before committing to a full-size option. So that one's available, but It Cosmetics also has a mascara set, but this one actually comes with three full-size mascaras for $42. It's $78 in value. You get the Superhero, which is one of my all-time favorites. It gives you a ton of volume, so much drama. And then you get the Lash Blowout, which I haven't tried, and then Hello Lashes Plus which I have tried and I didn't like that one. I just, it didn't do anything for my lashes. But I wanted to share it with you in case you are a fan of their mascaras or you wanted to, you know, pick up some different options. I'm so excited to see holiday gift sets. I know it's very, very early. It's still the middle of summer where I live. But for me, holiday gift sets don't necessarily mean like holiday season. It just means you can get some really good products at a discounted price. And like I said, I'm all about mini mascaras, but just mini products in general. I recently got two different Sephora favorite sets, and it was such a nice way to try out different formulas, different brands, rather than committing to one expensive full-size product. So I do plan on trying a good amount of holiday sets this year if there are products that I would have liked to try anyway. So 
I'm just excited to see what they launch. Anyway, I think that's all I wanted to share with you guys in today's video. I feel like whenever I film one of these videos, I go online and then I instantly see like 10 more launches. But that's okay, I can always film another video just chatting about new makeup. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you have a great weekend. I will be back on Sunday with a new video testing out some new makeup launches. So I hope you guys will check it out and I'll see you guys then. Bye.